Hey, I'm Geek Pastimes, and in today's video, we're going to look at the new details we have about the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War reveal that's happening on August 26th. We now know the time of it, and I think we can speculate on a few um, things about what it's going to be like. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. The time bomb is ticking. With every second, the disaster is coming closer and closer. The danger is real. So, over the last few days, we've had the Call of Duty Twitter account giving us sort of little teasers of what to expect on August 26th. So just to give you a tiny bit of backstory, um, after all the streamers got all of those projectors and everything and solved the puzzle to give us PornTakesPorn.com, we then had a long puzzle with Porn Takes Porn of all of the videos. We had to go into Warzone to find the ciphers which were hidden in all of the different shacks and bunkers. Um, and once we pieced all of that together, we finally got the sort of teaser trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and a reveal date of August 26th. Now that teaser trailer that we got didn't actually have anything in it that was to do with, you know, gameplay or anything like that. It was just all kind of setting the scene that this is about the Cold War and specifically about kind of propaganda and things like that. The idea that people in power might be lying to you and covering up what really happened in history. Now, on August 20th, the Call of Duty Twitter account put this tweet up, which said, Time is ticking, the danger is real, which is part of the quotes that we used when we were finding that original reveal trailer. And they had this sort of little video with it that was to do with that key art that they're using for Black Ops Cold War that kind of has a Russian and American side, sort of half of a soldier on each side, and lots of little snippets to do with propaganda, etc. And I think that's kind of implying that propaganda was used by both sides and potentially still is being used by both sides. So maybe they're putting the idea behind this game is going to be that um, we don't really know what happened in the Cold War or we don't know what is happening in the Cold War and that this game is going to try and delve into some of that. And then the Call of Duty account has been doing these tweets kind of every day. So on the 22nd was when we got the next one and the beginning of this kind of countdown where this one says a lie is a powerful weapon in the video. And again, we've got little things to do with propaganda in the video. Now, interestingly, the text for the tweet said four days, which makes sense because it's four days till August 26th at that point. And then loads of text that was redacted, um, you know, sort of blacked out. And there's no way to know what that text says. Um, obviously, it could be kind of a lie is a powerful weapon, but the um, sort of spaces don't seem to match up with that very well. Then the next one that we got was on August 23rd. And this one said um, real conspiracies are not theories or aren't theories. And the text said something, something, not a theory, something, 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 Vedansk, August 26th. Um, and that echoes something that was in the YouTube description for the first sort of reveal trailer that we got, or the first teaser, I guess, where it said that the reveal was going to be happening in Verdansk, which makes us think it's going to be happening in Warzone. Then the next one that we got, and this is sort of the more interesting one, because it's the one that came out today. It says, know your history. And then there's a load of blanks there. And it says, August 26th, Verdansk, 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. Now, the 10.30 a.m. Pacific time is really important because that gives us the time for the reveal, which lots of people have been asking for. So we now know it's not going to be the time that we thought it was going to be when all the Porn Takes Porn puzzles updated every day. Instead, it's going to be 6.30 in the afternoon, 6.30 p.m. British time in the UK. Um, it's, that means it's going to be 7.30 p.m. in Europe. It means it's going to be 1.30 p.m. Eastern time, so on the East Coast of America. And as it says, 10.30 a.m. Pacific time, so on the West Coast of America. So hopefully from that, you can kind of work out where your time zone is going to be. Now, in the video they put with this one, that's really interesting too, that we had this spy plane going over in the same kind of cutscene as what you get at the beginning of Warzone. So at the beginning of a Warzone game, you see the C-130 coming over, which is the plane that you jump out of, and then you get, you know, the little cutscene where you see your team inside it. But here, you're getting that same bit of the C-130 coming through the clouds, but just before it, you see the spy plane go over it. Now, I've been told that this spy plane is a Russian version, kind of, of the U-2. It's the Russian equivalent of the U-2 spy plane. And this is something that lots of sort of data miners and people like that, like Proto Warehouse, I know, talked about this. I think Mon Warzone talked about it at some point, that this was in the files quite a long time ago, and they thought that this was going to be important in some way. 
Um, and now we're seeing it in this cutscene. We don't know if it's going to appear in game or whether it's just going to be in this cutscene. It looks like maybe when you load up the game, when this whole thing's kicking off, that might be the opening cutscene, I think. It'll be interesting to see whether you can see it in game like flying up high. I'm pretty sure these spy planes are meant to fly incredibly high. So um, I'm not sure if you should be able to see it from the ground. But maybe we will. Maybe that'll be like a sign that something's going to happen. Now, in terms of what is actually going to happen, I'm expecting we'll get another teaser trailer tomorrow, um, you know, from the Twitter account. And then we'll get the real thing, obviously, on Wednesday. And it seems to be that it's going to be in Verdansk. You know, it's going to be in Warzone. So something's going to happen in game. I've said for a long time, I don't think there's going to be a Fortnite style live event. I don't think we're going to see big map changes. I don't think we're going to see a nuke going off or anything like that. Um, I don't think the engine's kind of capable of stuff like that. I'd love to be wrong, but I don't think we're going to see something on that level. But what I do think we're going to get is the trader being shown somehow in Warzone. And that's something that VGC have been reporting for a long while and Mon Warzone have been saying for a long while, that we're going to get some kind of trader in the game, some kind of reveal in the game. So my kind of speculation, and this is 100% speculation, is that maybe we're going to start hearing some of those Black Ops quotes and music that Data Miners talked about a while back. And we're going to hear those in-game in Warzone, maybe after we've had this cutscene of the spy plane going over. Then maybe we'll see the spy plane in the air. That would be quite cool if that was like a sign that it was going to happen. And then maybe we're going to have to do something like a little mission. Or maybe we're just all going to get told, you know, go to a certain place, like go to stadium. And then on screens there, they'll have the trader or something like that. All those new TVs that we talked about in a YouTube video a little while ago, maybe they're going to show up on those TVs. I'm sure whatever the sort of trader is it'll appear on youtube very very quickly so i wouldn't worry i was a bit worried thinking we're not going to see it in high quality but i'm sure they will upload the real one to youtube very very quickly afterwards then i'm expecting us to see quite a lot of this game quite quickly we've heard that this is going to be a gameplay reveal um so i'm expecting to see some actual gameplay i'm kind of expecting the first traders to be campaign focused um normally with call of duty except for black ops 4 obviously Normally we see campaign first and then multiplayer and then, you know, zombies or Warzone or whatever down the line. Now this game, assuming it sticks to the normal Call of Duty launch schedule of this happening end of October, beginning of November, we've only got a couple of months before this game's meant to be coming out. So I'm expecting if, say, we see some campaign footage today or, or sorry, Wednesday, then I'm kind of expecting we might see multiplayer maybe even at the Gamescom events that are happening later this week or at least very, very shortly. There's been talk about there being an open beta, so maybe we'll get the beta in September like we usually do. Um, and then I'm expecting, you know, we'll see some stuff to do with zombies and some stuff to see, do with whatever they're going to do with Warzone pretty quickly after that. So it should be a really exciting couple of months for Call of Duty. Um, beyond that, I don't know anything. Like, I don't have any sort of insider sources or anything like that. But I'm hoping, um, just because of the timeline of everything, that this is all going to kick off pretty quickly. If you want to watch the reveal with us and see sort of my reactions to it, we're going to be in-game on Twitch. I'm Geeky Pastimes over on Twitch. Go leave me a follow and you'll get notified when I go live. Um, we're going to be following whatever it is. So if there's stuff going on with a website, we'll be there. If there's stuff happening in Warzone, we'll make sure we're in a game of Warzone ready. If there's something sort of different happening, like there's another puzzle or anything like that, which I'm kind of hoping there's a little bit of a puzzle or something, then we'll 100% be doing that on Wednesday. So I'm really excited to see what there is. Check us out on Twitch and follow us there. I'm also on Twitter. I'm Geeky Pastimes there where I post about all of these sorts of things. And there'll be a link to my Discord down in the description below where lots of people have been working out all of this stuff. We still haven't cracked the stadium Easter egg with all of these symbols and reticles and things like that. So we think there's still quite a lot left to do in the game. And all of this is obviously just going to add to that. There's going to be more and more sort of new things to speculate on and new things to talk about. So if you like this video, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.